Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I've got a fun project for you guys. Whether you own a laser or not, if you're new to the laser world, you want it to look just like mine, um, and you're wanting to get a laser, I do have up to $500 off of a Glowforge down in the description below. Um, also, if you do own a laser already, tomorrow we are giving out a free design to all email subscribers of our um, newsletter. So if you're not subscribed to that, do it today. Tomorrow you're gonna get a one day link to download a retro camera design that I created, and then you can print that off on your laser there. Other than that, let's jump into this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to create this, whether you have a laser or you don't have a laser, and different things that I would have changed if I would redo it. And I may redo this for you guys if you wanna see a whole start to finish um, build. I didn't record that because it was my first time creating one, um, but this is the wireless uh, drill converted into a train horn. Costs about $35 total in parts, and you, um, if you want to build it just like mine, you'll need the laser scrap piece. It looks just like this right here. Um, you can build your own. It's just a circle. Fits right in there. It's all pressure fit, and you can add a logo or vents like I did with mine. This was literally a scrap piece that was already pre-cut out from like a year ago um, from a past project that I did. And it just so happened to fit perfect inside there. As you can see, that piece is right in there. If you don't own a laser, you can just cut out a foam piece from like a Dollar General or something to cover that up. Or you can just leave it completely open and have the insides all be seen. I just wanted it to look pretty much like I bought this off of a store shelf kind of thing. I was gonna go all elaborate and make like an entire like box design with the laser here, but I wanted this to be accessible for everybody who didn't own a laser yet as well. So basically, um, like I said, it was $35. I got all the parts from Harbor Freight. The drill was $17. It does come with the battery. It's a 12 volt uh, drill, and this is a 12 volt compressor, so I just matched them up. And then the compressor and air horns all came as one kit for about 13 bucks plus tax. Then you come out to about $35, um, at least in Ohio, that's how much it came out to be. It might be different if your taxes are higher, but uh, I, all I needed outside of this was this laser piece here and a quarter inch drill bit and a three eighth inch drill bit for the screw holes and the mounting. Um, it came with all the brackets, came with the hose, the YT, um, basically 35 bucks, you're good to go. Um, I know why you guys are here, you wanna hear this go off. My audio on my camera tends to dim loud noises. So this thing is loud, don't get me wrong, it's about as loud as one of those air compressed air horns. Um, so if you're sensitive to loud sounds, uh, go ahead and close your uh, ears now. And then it may cut out my audio for a little bit just because of the way the camera is. So let's go ahead and get into this. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much as loud as a car horn uh, in the palm of your hand. It's never ending. Uh, you can add your uh, battery, just charge it back up. You don't have to buy more little compressed cans. Um, it's really fun. If I had this in high school, I'd probably get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but other than that, this has been a build that I've been wanting to build for quite a while. I hope you guys enjoy this style project. I know it's not a complete laser design project like usual, but this is something that you can definitely do. It's pretty easy to assemble. Um, if you need an assemble video done on this, I could probably buy a different set um, as cheap as it is and build a different video on it. Let me know in the comments below if I should even bother doing that. But basically, I can give you a rundown of what it is. Um, make sure you take the battery out first off and then you just remove all your screws. Um, the hardest part is getting this little plastic coupler off. You pull that off first by undoing the screws, pull that off. And there's two screws underneath that coupler, and then the whole thing pops off there. Once you have the whole thing apart, there's two wires that come up to the, uh, the little drill kit inside, the drill assembly. Cut those two wires, pull the drill assembly out, and then you wire those two wires to two new wires that you provide. That is one thing that didn't come with the kit was the wires. So you will need to bring your own wiring. Um, I only had red wire, so I just used that for both the hot and ground and put black tape on the ground here so I knew which side was which. Um, 
Other than that, though, that is pretty much it. As you can see, it's pretty fun. I left the little tiny flashlight on on mine. You might be able to clip that, but I didn't see a reason why. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think it's kind of cool that it lights up every time the horn goes off. Um, but yeah, other than that, if you if I wanted to add to this uh, as is, I would probably add like wood inserts here. Um, the little wooden inserts uh, it would be like um, wood veneer for the lasers so I can engrave like our logo and then just little handle inserts. It would look really cool. Um, like I said, I was going to build like a whole assembly here, but I wanted this to be accessible to everybody. So, uh, once again, if you have not signed up for our email, uh, subscriber list, go ahead and do that in the description below so you can get a free laser design. Um, other than that, it's been Josh with Fresh Start Customs. This is the custom air horn or train horn wireless drill, never ending. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you guys in the next one.